morning everyone. So we're here again, uh, Lisa from Stroud Homes Brisbane East and we're here again with Renata and Mike. Uh, we first caught up with you guys, it was just over a month ago um, and we, have, we, were, we were doing that handover process. So you were come, you'd come through the sales with Chris and um, now you were with myself and with Shannon working your way towards a contract. Um, so how, how have things been? Uh, I think it's been great uh, so far. Uh, I'm still waiting for the land to be to be ready for us, but meanwhile we've been doing the, the selection of colors and all fittings and everything. I think there's more things to, to select than we, we thought about initially. Yeah, so yeah, we need to keep things organized and keep attention to the little details that we never thought about selecting before. Yeah. Like the exterior of the house, that you know, the <laughs> color to choose when you arrive here. So, But everything's been smooth. Uh, you guys been helping us a lot. Uh, with experts helping us deciding which is the best color or which is the best fish or a few things that we didn't knew much about. Yep. I think so far it's been great, very smooth. Yeah. So um, since we last caught up, we've, we've finalized our plans. Um, so there was a bit of back and forth with that. And mm -hmm. I think you're really happy with where we're at with your, with your plans now. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We've also been talking with your estate to get your covenant approval. So um, a covenant approval if somebody's buying in an estate um, the estate will generally have a list of guidelines that we need to follow for the design, for the colours, for the landscaping, for all of those sort of things. Um, so that can be a little bit of back and forth, just making sure that we've got everything right from, right from their perspective. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we've just got to send off the landscaping plan that we've got done and, mm -hmm. and that should be the covenant approval through. Mm -hmm. um, and as you mentioned, we're still waiting on that block of land. So um, the process with, with Mike and Renata's journey is that little bit different where uh, their land is not yet registered, so they're building in Minipee, uh, Minipee Quarter in Carina. And uh, SiteWorks are going full steam ahead at the moment, and they're looking at us being able to get on site and do all of our site works and our site testing as of the beginning of next month. Um, and it'll also be settlement at yes. the same time, isn't that right? Yes. That'll be very exciting. Yes. yes. <laughs> so as soon as we get all that testing back, we'll be signing our contract and heading straight through to council, which is, um, which is, which is great. So I think from now, um, we've basically got a couple of weeks of just waiting. We've selected yeah. all our colours, we've done all the plans, we've got the estate approval. Mm -hmm. All we're waiting on yeah, is cool. go. waiting on the site to be finished. Yes. Um, and we'll be, we'll be one of the first builders setting up in that, in that estate. You, you watch us go. <laughs> um, but yeah, tell us a, a little bit more. So, um, you know, things that you, you were talk, talking about, the colour selection. Yes. And yes. That there, was, there was so much more to think about than you probably originally thought. Yeah, I think looking sounds simple once you're at your place and seeing uh, which colour like, but then also comes the selection. There are little details that you never stop to yeah. think about once yeah. you're living in a house, because we have our house, we, we have our things you like and we dislike, but there are other things we, we never yeah, think about. Yeah. You just, was funny when we came in to do the color selection. Um, the lady said, um, "Okay, so we picked everything from inside the house, great." And we're like, "Oh, okay, done." done. And it's like, no, now we can, now we're doing the exterior. I'm like, oh, I never thought about that. Yes. Yeah. But, but was we can I just, you know, yeah. can you just create something? Yes. So when we when item by item, item by item. Yeah. But yeah. having this playhouse also helped us a lot. Yes. Like, or sometimes the picture on the website. Ah, uh, we like that. Yeah. That part, you know, from the interior, we just select a few pictures of a few houses from the Stroud side that you saw. I think they have a big collection of photos there. Oh, we like that cabinet, so let's try to make it similar to that one. And yes. print the picture, put in a folder, I think that helps us a little bit. That's yes, true. Yeah. true. And our uh, facade is going to be hopefully very similar to the display home, so it was easy for us to pick. Yeah. And I was like, we want exactly that house. <laughs> we got that house. <laughs> so you came and you sat in. So Larissa, our interior designer, you came yes. and sat with her for a couple of hours, um, and she helped you through Definitely. all of those yeah, choices. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sometimes some choices I had some ideas that said, yeah, that's not going to work, and then she explained yeah. why and kind she of was really good. convinced us because it really didn't yeah. make sense to change yeah. a few colors used or, or there, and yeah, she was really helpful. That's good. And before we did our colour selection, we did our trip to Reese yes. to select some um, of our fittings. Mm -hmm. And we also did a trip to Tulsa City, didn't we? Yeah, yes. To select our yeah. tiles. And yeah. how did you find those meetings? 
was good. I think the, the tile seat is amazing because you have the options there all in front of you and uh, they put the, on the, floor. the person is very helpful put on the floor, yeah. different lights, putting the light in the sun to see how it looks like. It's it's been great customer service. Great customer service. Yeah. Uh, this product selection is quite good. I think we pick very little extras from there because the all tones and all colors that you like is like it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and on the wrist, I think the wrist there's not everything is in display because I think the range is so big. Yeah. So a few things they have in the catalog which you sort of is that one and I think we change once one or two items after looking to their website, yeah. look at the picture, yeah. and then, oh no, we pick that one, but we prefer the other, and yeah. then talk with Lisa, and you guys just change on the code. Yep. Yeah. And I think that's it. Perfect. Well, okay. look, I'm excited. Um, I'm, you know, we're, as I said, we're just, now we're just biding our time. Yeah. So um, we'll probably catch up with Mike and Renata at contract signing, um, yes. which I dare say will be middle of August. Um, so it's the 16th of July now, mm -hmm. um, and it was the 15th of June that we caught up last time when we were at the sales process. So mm -hmm. um, you can see, you know, and you were dealing with Chris for a couple of weeks prior to that yes. one. So we're about six weeks into our journey at the moment, and we're pretty much ready to um, be signing contract yes. and, and going to construction. Mm -hmm. um, again, as everyone's journey can be slightly different, um, Mike Renata's journey involves us, you know, having to wait for that block of land. So we... We get everything else organised and um, then move on to that as soon as we can. Yes. All right, thank you for catching up with me today, guys, and we'll see you, see you soon. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah.